Hi everyone, my name is uh, D. Shivraj. I am PGT in Zoology, Telangana Model School, Kondapaka. So today topic is muscular tissue, the types of uh, muscles from 9th class. 9th class, uh, third unit, we have animal tissue. In animal tissue, we have various types of uh, tissues like epithelial tissue connective tissue, muscle tissue and nervous tissue. So here in this module we are going to discuss about uh, muscular tissue and uh, types of uh, muscles. So in this module the students are going to learn about uh, muscle tissue and about uh, various types of muscle tissue and uh, the structure of uh, various types of muscle tissues and their functions the functions of these various types of muscle tissues and in this model they are going to learn about uh, location of these various types of muscle tissues so before going to learn about the muscular system let's see how this muscular system is going to help us so as we know that uh, our muscle tissue is going to help with the movement of our hands and legs and not only our external uh, hands and legs it also helps in movement of uh, internal organs like movement of our heart our stomach the passage of food water and all this movements are going to possible only with the help of uh, muscles and another important uh, function of this muscles as we have the muscles even have we have muscles in blood vessels also blood flows in our blood vessels because this blood vessels are going to contract and the diameter is going to be increases and uh, decreases based on the pressure so on that basis the blood flows in our blood vessels now coming to the heart so heart is also made up of with the muscles and as you know that the heart beating starts when we are in the mother's womb in the first month and it will stop uh, when we die so continuously the heart is going to beat so the how much powerful the heart muscles we can imagine so the heart muscles are going to help the beating of the heart and uh, another important functions of this muscles our eyes so the movement of our eyes the pupil movement we can see the objects because this our eye has got uh, muscles these muscles are going to move our eyes the other one is uh, the breathing so when we breathe our uh, chest uh, the lungs are going to expand uh, and uh, relax so so many muscles are going to help in this in this process and uh, as we discussed heart so muscles present in the heart pump the blood and uh, anything movement happens in our body either it is external or internal obviously muscles are going to help now let us see what are the different types of uh, muscle tissues present uh, in our body basically we have uh, three types of muscle tissue there are skeletal muscles smooth muscles and uh, cardiac muscles let's see about uh, skeletal muscle the most of our body is made up of with the skeletal muscle so if you see in the males 40 percent of the body weight is with the skeletal muscle in the females it is about 32 percent and the cardiac is 10% uh, and the smooth muscles 
about 20-25% will have smooth muscles. So most of our body weight is in, in uh, muscles. So if you take the skeletal muscle, it is an important uh, muscle and uh, the entire our skeleton is uh, uh, attached with the uh, skeletal muscles and in the skeletal muscle we are going to have the nervous tissue and uh, uh, blood vessels also. If you see the structure of this uh, skeletal muscle, the skeletal muscle generally the tissues these are going to be long thin contractile fibers and they are going to have the striations. Uh, the skeletal muscle tissue so they have the striations means here they are going to have the filaments thick and thin filaments hence they look like uh, striated and all the skeletal muscles are going to be in the violent in action so these skeletal muscles are going to attach it to the skeleton so by tendons the tendons are another type of uh, fibrous tissue tissue which is going to help in attaching the skeletal muscle to the bone so the generally the skeletal muscles uh, help in the movement of uh, uh, hands and legs and uh, it also help in the facial expressions the muscles which are present in our uh, uh, face will help in movement of our lips and all and helps in the breathing and the swallowing the food and movement of uh, hand in writing talking singing and the posture and the skeletal muscles also help in this contraction of this muscles will generate the heat heat production that is the reason the body will have the temperature and uh, also have a uh, joint uh, stability so the tissue also help in the joints, movement of uh, joints. So like we discussed, uh, skeletal muscle help in the movement of the bones and even the fluids in our body when we take the food and water, uh, the smooth muscle will help in the movement of these fluids. Helps in It also helps in the posture maintenance, posture uh, maintenance where uh, you want to sit and stand in the running these skeletal muscles are going to help even the joint stabilization movement of the joints and with the help of the tendons and ligaments the skeletal muscle is going to help as we discussed uh, the skeletal muscle also generate uh, heat so here we have uh, tendons and ligaments is a very important uh, uh, muscle tissue here the tendons these are the fibrous tissue where this tissue is going to help in uh, attaching the muscle tissue with the bone whereas the ligaments are this tissue helps in attaching bone to bone now the smooth muscles so this if you see the smooth muscle the structure the tissue is going to form uninucleated spindle shaped cells with this type of cells this tissue is going to be formed generally we find uh, the smooth muscles in blood vessels respiratory tract digestive tubes urinary organs reproductive organs and uh, eyes now let's see what are the functions of the smooth muscles smooth muscles help in the movement of the food in elementary canal and uh, the contraction and relaxation of the blood vessels in which we call them as involuntary we will discuss this what is involuntary and voluntary and another function of this uh, smooth muscles are functioning of our eye and even uh, smooth muscles are present in the uterus in the branchia of the lungs and uh, uh, they are, these uh, muscles are 
non striated muscles so in this we do not find the thick and thin filaments hence they are non striated muscles now we'll see what is voluntary and the involuntary muscles is the voluntary muscles is with the help of this muscles the person can control like uh, we can move our hand on our will and wish so these skeletal muscles the skeletal muscles are going to involve in this voluntary actions hence these skeletal muscles are also known as voluntary muscles and also called as a striated muscles striated muscles because they have striations whereas involuntary muscles here involuntary muscles are smooth muscles where we cannot control actions we cannot move these muscles on our will and wish for example heart we cannot stop our heart on our will and we cannot even control our movement of the food once we swallow the food we cannot control it so it is involuntary so hence the muscles present in alimentary canal muscles of heart are called involuntary muscles they are also called as non striated muscles because they do not have striations now let's see the cardiac muscles the cardiac muscle is going to have the peculiar characters this is the muscle which is never going to tired continuously it is going to work because our heart has to be function continuously how is it possible because these cardiac muscles have a peculiar tissue the cardiac muscle tissue in this in this tissue these cells are going to be branched the cells are very long and have branched and have nuclei and they are going to have a many mitochondria these cells are going to be continuously supplied with oxygen that is the reason this tissue are going to be active always and they can even find uh, striations in this cardiac muscles but even the striations are there these muscles are not voluntary these are involuntary muscles here you can see how this cardiac muscle how it is bundle and how this heart is made up of with the muscle tissue which we called as myocardium the entire this heart wall is going to formed with tissue type of cardiac tissue what we call it as myocardium now see what is uh, three types of muscular tissue uh, skeletal tissue cardiac muscle and uh, smooth muscle now we'll see in that a glance of three types of muscular tissue skeletal muscle cardiac visceral the locations functions their appearance and control now the muscle contraction how the muscle is going to be contracted it's a very big theory is there behind this this we are going to discuss in the higher classes now let us have an assessment activity so identify this three types of muscles and write their characters and we are going to meet again the new topic the next class thank you